to week three of Advent Adventures, guys. We are so excited. I'm Jazzy Joe here with a very special guest. Scuba G. Oh yeah, this summer we have BBS scuba themed coming up and this is a very special guest from there. Be looking for registration, it's gonna be a great summer. So Scuba G is here to lead us in some jazz Jazzercise. Side. Come on, get your jazzy pants on and let's get ready to stretch and move. You got some stretches for us? Yeah, let's get some stretches. First, let's start on that quad. Oh yeah. Get that balance joint going. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's yes. good. Now we're gonna we're gonna put our hands way up in the sky. Ooh. Like we're reaching for marshmallows. We're gonna grab those marshmallows. We're gonna throw them across and grab our toes. Oh, oh yeah, can you grab your toes, guys? I can, I can grab the toes. Good job grabbing your toes, guys. Okay. I think we're about stretched out. I think we might be ready. Ready to start this on? We're gonna do some jazz exercise to some jazzy music. So let's cue that song. Three, two, one, hit it. Okay, let's, get those, let's start those first for a jog. Yeah. yeah, Okay. get warmed up, get that heart pumping. Hit those heels, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, hit them, that's good. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go for some sea stars. Sea stars. So, just like jumping jacks, but the sea stars. Woo. 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 Get five of those in, one. Two, three, four. Wow, good job guys. That was really great. Let's get some more in. Yeah. What do you got? Ooh, I don't know. Okay, how about we do some swimming? Let's oh yeah. Ahead. Think of it. I have to learn this one. Yes, push the seaweed aside guys. That's yeah. what we're doing here. Just to get the seaweed out of our face. Sometimes we gotta dodge the seaweed. Dodge it, yeah. dodge it. Oh no, I think I see some coral up ahead. Okay. We're gonna get the hurdles. Hurdles. Hurdle the coral. When you see coral, you jump. Yeah. Jump. Okay, here's what we see. We see a shark up ahead of us, guys. So start oh. jogging. You gotta run oh. to it. And then when you get close, we're gonna jump to the left. Get ready. Shark's coming close. It's gonna be there in two seconds. Oh. Two, one, jump. Yeah. Keep oh. going, there's another one. There's another one, we gotta jump to the right. Okay, go to the right. Two, two. one. Oh. Oh. Great. Great dodge, Scuba G. Oh, thank you. That was awesome. Practicing. Okay. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a whirlwind with the ocean. Whoa. We're gonna do a spin and suck all the fish in because they're our friends. Ready? Woo! This whirlwind, Bubba. Woo! On the side. Got an equilibrium. Got to the left. Oh. And to the right. One more to the right. Oh, that's so good. Whoa, I'm dizzy. Okay. All those fish are my friends now. I think it's time to take a rest. Oh. All right, guys. Spread those legs. We're gonna go to the left. Really Ugh. bend over your knee here. That's good. We need our legs nice and ready to swim. Now to the yeah. right. Yeah. Very good. Very. You're doing great. I'm so proud of you guys. Okay. Here's the deal. We gotta swim. We're only halfway there. Oh yeah. So we gotta keep going. So let's get those strokes in. We're swimming. This is good. This is good. Now. Hop. You see, we stopped from the pool. We had to swim up. Oh yeah. Keep stroking. There's an anchor hanging down in front of us. We gotta go down. Very good. Very good. Okay. I think I see some ocean bears. Let's see grab that. those. To the left. Grab them. There's another ocean bear on the left. Grab it. Perfect, guys. We have two ocean berries already. Let's try and get the five ocean berries. They're very tasty. You see that one up there? Let's oh, grab I see it. it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Scuba yeah. Good job. Pull it down. Yeah. This they one's a little stuck. far. This one's a little far. We're gonna need to grab our net. I've got a net right here. There's a net. Right here. Oh yeah. Okay, help me out. We got it. <laughs> That's an ocean berry. That Great. Ocean. <laughs> okay, we're on our jog. On the double. If you can really move, do it. Oh. If you can't, get a little knee action in here. Yeah, all right. Now here's the deal. We got some fish coming in right here, but they gotta get out of the way. So we're gonna do a little, <laughs> little action. Get them out of the way. Now, the way. keep going. Okay, there's a lot of sea stars over here, so we gotta blend in with them. Scuba G, you're right behind me. I'm gonna go high, you're gonna go low. We gotta blend in with the sea stars. Oh. Good, good, that's it. Keep on the run. More sea stars, I'll go low, you go high. I got you. Great, we're past them. Okay. All right, we're almost at the end of our run, but I think I see some danger over here. Oh. I think there's a shark. A shark? I think there's a shark, and we gotta get to the end here. Are you with us, kids? You gotta stay close, because if we're not close, when we get separated, 
It's over. Oh, no. All right, lead us and we get to the sharks. I will. You gotta tell us how to get away from them, okay? Okay. Let's start swimming. All right, we're swimming. We're swimming. When they get close, they're gonna smell you. So you gotta, you gotta dodge out of the way. Dodge out of the way. Oh. You saved us there, Scooby G. Thank you. Oh, no, there's another one. There's the mama. Okay, where are we going? We're down to the left. Oh, left. 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 Oh, that was good. Good dodge, kids. Make sure your parents are coming too, because if your parents aren't moving, they're gonna get caught by the sharks too. You don't want to see your parents get eaten by the sharks. Let's keep moving. Okay, last shark up ahead. Oh, we gotta go under this one, and then over the next one, and we're to the ship. Oh, okay? Hi. Right. Here they come. Go right. down. And up. Up again. Perfect. Swim up to the boat. Oh, get some air. Feels good. Guys, thanks, Scuba G, for an awesome jazz. Thank you for lesson. having me. That was so amazing. Scuba G, we're gonna see you at VBS and yes, we're gonna have are. the most fun with you. Thank you yeah. so much. All right, guys, get some water, not seawater. Not seawater. We sea need water. some hydration. And then me and Pastor Eastman are gonna be doing a little devotion with you guys about peace. Cause this, this time we're doing the shepherd's candle and it's gonna be an amazing devotional. We're excited to have you there. Get your Bibles. We'll see you in just a minute. Hey you guys, welcome to week three of Advent Adventures. We are so excited to adventure through this week of Advent with you. But first, if you guys haven't seen our past two videos, we strongly encourage you, go on YouTube, check your email, we sent those out. We talked about hope the first week, we had so much fun, we talked about faith last week, and we did some cooking with Chef Jacques, we made some Bethlehem rolls, we did a song, we got to do motions for him. we just had tons of fun while we're also learning so much and journeying through this Christmas Advent season together. So we encourage you, go back and watch those. But for now, we're going into week three, and week three is going to be talking about joy. Uh, and we are so excited to talk about joy, guys, because joy is something that goes past happiness, past excitement, as excited as we are. Joy is something that lasts. Uh, so I'm in the missions corner here. Pastor Eastman should be coming by any minute, really, uh, because I'm sure he's more than excited to talk about joy. Uh, he's someone that I know that just loves joy so much. Uh, Joe! So there he is. Joe! I Pastor. just made it, man. If, am Dude, I too just, late? No, just in time. Oh, good. This Come is on, my sir. favorite week. Yeah. Favorite one. You know, I'm so excited to talk about this week with you because you're one of the most joyful people I know. So this is going to be a great to learn from you. I can't wait because this is the difference. I mean, when you really embrace joy, it changes the way you live, changes the way you act, changes the way you think. I love joy. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, guys, I am not surprised that he is excited to talk about joy. If if Pastor Eastman is the most joyful person you know, raise your hand. Because we can learn from that. <laughs> I love being full of joy because it's a gift that God gives us. Mm -hmm. I love that. So the first week we talked about, this was the prophet candle, yeah, if yeah. I remember right. Mm -hmm. Prophet candle, and it's all about hope. Hope. Because that prophecy does produce hope in people. Mm -hmm. But then the second candle, and I like this, is the Bethlehem candle, and that is the faith candle. Yes. We talked about that. Yes, we did. Yeah, week. I was just talking to them with that. Oh, did you already share that? I did, yeah. Awesome. But then the third candle, this is what I love. It's a different color. Can you notice? It's pink. Pink. I love pink. I love it. Because it's different. It's different. It's and look be at fun. your tallest candle so far. We had to shift the other ones around yes, a little bit. Yes, we did. Because it was getting low. But I'm heading over here to the pink candle. Oh, this there it goes. This is what we call the shepherd candle. And it Woo! is the joy candle. That's joy. That, that just gave me joy. I felt it too. Yeah. Something there's just something rose. about joy that makes a big difference. You know, the Bible tells us there's a great scripture. It's found in the book of 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 8. I want you to listen to what it says. Yeah. It says this, it says, you are filled with glorious joy that can't be put into words. I love that scripture. Glorious joy. It's so big. It's so powerful. You can't even describe it. That's the joy that we get when we ask Jesus to come into our mm -hmm. life and we start to think about the promises that he's given us. Forgiveness of sins, life everlasting, joy unspeakable and full of glory. These are the things that God gives us when we become one of his children. Mm, that's awesome. That. 
It does make a big difference when you walk in that kind of joy. Now, the one thing that I've noticed is this, that is when you get saved and you understand that you've been born again, that you're not just going through the motions of life, but God has put you here on this earth for a reason and for a purpose, that itself will produce this substance mm. called joy. And it makes a difference. I remember when I first received Jesus, I was a junior in high school. It took me a little while to catch on because nobody had ever really explained it to me the way that you know, the God wanted me to yeah. know about it. So what happened was I was driving home and my dad was driving out of the driveway and I'm driving in the driveway. And I remember flashing my lights on and off, my head's hanging out the window, I'm yelling. I got the lights going on and a windshield wipers. A little bit going, of road rage? What, no, no, road excitement. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> I misunderstood. Joy. <laughs> and I wanted to get my dad's attention, so he pulled over and I could just see his eyes roll. He's like, oh boy, what's my son into now? And I jumped out of the car and I go, dad, my life is has changed. Jesus has changed my life. And right when I said, Jesus has That's changed awesome. my life, his jaw, jaw dropped down because he knew I was not, yeah. I, I was not living for God up to that point. And then he, he got curious. And then my dad, two weeks after I received Jesus, my dad accepted Jesus because wow. he saw the joy that was in my life. There's something about joy that really is contagious. I mean, authentic, real That's joy. Awesome. That's something you got to work up. It's something that God gives you when you receive him as Lord, his joy comes in on the inside. Yeah. And, you know, there's one thing I found out, and I bet you know about this, too. The one time you don't want to lose your joy or turn loose of your joy is when you're going through tough things. Yes. You know, I kind of touched on that just a little bit when we were starting, when, before you walked in. Right. I was explaining how joy is a little different than happiness. And that's exactly kind of what I'm meaning is that it's, it was one of the favorite things about when I got saved and when I really gave my life to Jesus was I learned that just because times were hard or I was sad or things weren't going how I wanted didn't mean I had to be let that take over. I maybe wasn't happy at the time, but when I found out that I could have God's joy, right? I learned that I can just choose that joy and then I can be learn to overcome those times and not be overcome by sadness. You know, there's a great scripture in the Bible too. Mm -hmm. And it talks about this in the book of James. It says, count it all joy when you fall into trials and temptations, because really you don't want to lose your joy because there's something so powerful about that yeah. joy. Yeah, it's exactly. It's found in the book of Nehemiah, I think, in their scripture. Yeah, well, in Nehemiah 8.10, right. we have a verse. And so if you want to pause this video real quick, get your Bibles out, flip there. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and read this for us. So Nehemiah 8.10 says, the joy of the Lord makes you strong. It does. It really does. It gives you strength to be able to combat temptation, gives you strength to make it through your day, gives you strength to overcome yeah. something about joy, that pink candle that makes a huge difference exactly. in your life. Exactly. You know, the devil comes after our joy. And I think that verse tells us exactly why the devil likes to come after our joy, because he wants to take our strength away. And like Pastor Eastman was saying, his father saw the joy in his life, and that's why he also gave his life to Jesus. And the devil wants to take that joy away from us, but the joy of the Lord is our strength. It is. And it's going to be a witness to the people around us, to the, to the kids in your school. When you have a different kind of joy, they're going to see something different in you that they're going to want part of. That's so true. You know, there's something about joy that's contagious. Yeah. And I really encourage you, spread those that contagious joy on other people. It's almost like pass a smile. You know, the yeah. game pass a, pass a smile. When you smile at somebody, after a while, they can't help it. They'll smile back. Yeah. So there's something about that. When you initiate it, walk in that joy, talk in that joy, live in that joy. I got another scripture for okay. you. It's found in the book of John chapter 15. And I love this. Jesus is talking and this is what he says. He says, these things I've spoken to you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be made full. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus is full of joy. So I want to do this. Can we put the word joy up there? I know we have the word faith up there, Yes. but it's time to cover that because that's what we talked about last week. This week, we're going to talk about, boom, joy. I love that part right there. Yes. And you know why? Because Jesus was full of joy. Jesus had joy. I know. Check this picture out. This is Jesus full of joy. That's why he said, my joy will be your joy. My joy, I've given you wow. my joy, the things that I've spoken to you. And why would Jesus say that unless he was full of joy? Guys, 
Pause and take that in for a second. We can have the same joy that Jesus had. That's exactly right. Wow. And I love that kind of joy. Joy makes a huge difference in our life. So I really encourage you guys, embrace joy. Even if things go tough, hang on to joy. Make a decision that you choose joy. And when you do that, you're going to see life go a whole lot easier. You'll sail through temptations. Yeah. You'll sail through all sorts of stuff if you'll hang on to your joy. All right. So I have a couple questions for you guys to kind of start working through this idea of joy. Where do we get it from? How do we choose it? How can it help us? So let's go through a couple of these. So the first one I want you guys to pause the video after is going to be this one. What are some things you do that bring you joy? Wow, those are some good answers that you got right yeah. there. I like that. Joy is so powerful. Is. And what are, what are those things that give you joy? Well, you just shared those things. So do you have another question yeah, for yeah. us? I do. This one's going to be a little different. So does your attitude ever affect your joy? Whether you're having a bad day or whether you're having a really good day, do you think your attitude is changing that joy? Wow, Joe, that's good too. They got some good answers yes, here. They do. So it's really choosing joy is what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. We don't, we, we have to direct our attitudes and choose that joy. Even if we're having a bad day, we can have joy. Uh, attitude affects altitude. That's exactly. what my mom used to tell me all the time. Yeah. So keep a good attitude. When you do that, joy is going to come. That's good. That's a great saying. Um, so, and I'm going to ask you one more question. We'll pause the video here and then we'll pray out and we're going to go about our week with the most joy possible, working into this Christmas season, working into Christmas day, and we're just going to go in full of joy. So let's, let's think about this last one. Do you like hanging around joyful people and why? And do you want to be a joyful pe person? Wow, that's some good answers yes, right those there. those are awesome answers. Now, guys, tell me, how many of you want to be joyful people? I, I do, that, I now, do. Guys, that wasn't quite loud enough. That was good, but I mean, how many of you really want to be joyful people? Come on, let's go. We want. I want to be full of joy. I want to be the most joyful person anyone in my life knows. Wow, that's powerful right yeah, there. That would be awesome. If we all could just be the most joyful version of ourselves going in, I think we'd really change the communities around us. You know, there's something about when the shepherds were hanging out there mm. and the angels are out there and they said, hey, I bring you glad tidings of great yeah. joy and it's for everybody. That means it's for you too. It's for me. And all we have to do is just be an example. Choose joy. And as we do that, we're going to be contagious with we Jesus. We are. We're going to spread it like wildfire. I believe that. Can I pray for these guys? Let's do it. Come on. I want to do that. We want to pray for you that God's joy Joy will be your joy and that you'll just explode in joy. Father, thank you so much for every person, every mom, every dad, every kid that's watching this right now, every boy, every girl. We're asking that your joy would just infuse us with your life and your strength because the joy of the Lord is mm -hmm. our strength yes. in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. We love you guys, man. Stay full of joy. You're choosing joy, so hang on to it.